One of the cool things we get to do at NPD is look across all the industries that we track and we can compare and contrast those industries. Uh, we did some work recently where we asked what's the, the uh, penetration of e-commerce in each of the industries. And one of the highest penetrated categories was, turns out to be footwear. Um, many years ago I thought no one would buy a shoe online because of the fit issues and it's actually turned out to be one of the most lucrative categories for e-commerce. Physical stores can only carry so many sizes, they're always out of sizes. Physical stores can only carry so many colors, the internet has every color. Uh, we are seeing a continued rationalization obviously on the retail side and that drives more business to the internet. And then finally we have uh, the brands who are all growing their direct-to-consumer business as aggressively as they can. Uh, and most of that growth is coming from e-commerce as well. So what we've really seen is that uh, last year in the United States, 29% of all athletic shoes were sold online. Uh, and we think that number goes to 50, 50% in five to 10 years. Uh, and this is going to come uh, from a couple, of, a couple of major catalysts. One, again, the direct-to-consumer growth from the, uh, from the brands. Uh, they will continue to, to push more and more of their business to their own websites. Uh, the profits are great there. The brand message is controlled, uh, so we can expect that to grow. And then as we continue to see retail rationalization, as painful as it is, it's necessary. Uh, and a significant chunk of a business when a retailer closes uh, is going to go to the web. Um, so it's imperative that every retailer and every brand have a robust e-commerce business, do everything they can to make sure that it's as forward thinking, as updated as it can be. Um, it's really uh, the, probably the single most important thing that retailers need to think about is how to continue to grow their web business. Our customers tell us that they still like to shop in physical stores, they like to touch the products and try them on and share that experience with the like-minded community and so forth. So it's important to think that we're not going to see all business go to the internet. There's a significant part of the business that will remain in physical stores, but we have far too many physical stores in the United States today selling far too much of the same stuff. Uh, the boring retail is dead. Um, not all retail is not dead uh, and we can expect that while the business is going to grow that retailers who have a compelling um, uh, retail of space, a compelling retail experience um, will continue to thrive. So the, I think the next big idea for retailers and brands is to think about a concept we're calling blended retail and what we mean here is that the store is supporting e-commerce and e-commerce is supporting the store. Uh, we see uh, retailers bringing more of the internet into the store, whether it's ordering kiosks or letting their sales associates use their phone as a, as a sales tool. Uh, it's making products available to order online in the store. And at the same time, we're seeing the, the, the lines blurring on the other side. Uh, buy online, pick up in store has been one of the real unheralded uh, advantages of, of e-commerce. And th this holiday, many retailers really took advantage of this and letting co the consumer buy online and pick up in store at their convenience. Uh, there were no concerns about delivery or uh, losing the products from your doorstep. Um, if the product wasn't right, it's immediately exchanged in the store. Um, and so this idea of blended retail is really going to be the key to uh, how, how brands and retailers uh, navigate the future of e-commerce.